Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for September, you and the other person. So we're going to do two sides. You pick a side, whichever side is for you. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it's for September. This is being recorded in, in August, and a lot of people don't understand. You know, they watch it the day that they watch it, and they don't understand that it's a preview, but whatever. Anyway, this is for Aquarius in September. You and the other person, you pick a side. We're going to start right here. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Aquarius? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So you may need to disconnect. We're going to get a bunch more cards. Somebody may be disconnecting from you. Who knows? Um, you may be disconnecting from them. You may need to take a retreat with your partner. Maybe you need to go away. I don't know. Let's find out. What do we have for Aquarius? We're going to put these right over here. Well, this one kind of separated a little bit. This one's going to go over here. Yep. Okay. So, um, over here we have somebody here that is very intuitive, keeping to themselves. Or focused on their home, focused on their job, focused on their abundance. This person, and their spiritual growth as well. So we got somebody over here that is really keeping to themselves, focusing on their family, focusing on their home, something like that. Over here we have this Empress. This is the birth of, this is the birth of a new life. This is It's, it's, this is a very fertile person. This is somebody that is very experienced. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. If this isn't you, this is somebody that knows their value, knows their worth. This person is looking over here, though. This person is looking over here at prosperity, looking over here at... This person may be looking for answers because this is the high priestess. Maybe looking for tarot readings about their home, whether they should move. I know this is the other person, but I, you and the other person. But I just this is what I see, and I have to say whatever I see. So this person is very abundant. This per, this is the goddess of love and abundance. Okay, so this person is love. This person is abundance. <laughs> Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. So we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is dealing with a Taurus, for sure, because these are both Taurus. So this person is very stable, solid, secure, devoted, family-oriented. This is very mother. This is a mother. So they, somebody may be... This person over here is very much a mother. Very, very mothering. Very, you know, whatever decision that they are trying to make or whatever it is that their their main focus is their motherhood duties. Could be dealing with somebody over here that they, they may be invested with somebody who's just with them for the roof. Stability. Hmm. Yeah, there's there's some feeling of emptiness over here. Oh, God. Okay, so this person over here is hiding something. This person is hiding something. This person knows it, okay, by the way. This person knows it. This person is very, very uh, grounded. This person is experienced. This person has a lot of life experience. So this person knows that this person is hiding something. I wonder if this person, you know what I feel? I feel like this person may have like a secret family or they may have a child with somebody else. I don't know what that means, but that won't be for everybody. Um, this is a loss of stability, a loss of abundance, and this is incomplete. There's unfinished business. This person is lacking closure or they're not, there's no success. There's no success here. 
Let's get the rest of these. Oh, see, this person over here is untrustworthy. Okay, this person is like an energy thief. This person is keeping secrets. This person may have had some sort of affair with somebody that resulted in a child. And it's been hidden. Like a hidden child or a secret child or something like that. I don't know what this is. But um, let's get this so you can see it, huh? Um, this person over here, this is this is a false contract. And this is letting go. Letting go of a false contract. Letting go of something. Because this is letting go. And this is opening up. Letting go. Of a contract that isn't meant to be. So this person. Uh, there's some sort of secret here. This person is keeping some sort of secret from this person. This person has been waiting. For the news. Waiting for the news to be delivered. And news is going to come. News is going to come. And you notice there's two people and she gives, she's pregnant. So I'm wondering, and I'm thinking, I, and it's funny that I saw like a secret affair over here. It feels as though we, somebody, you know, there's two women over here. Could be the same one. I don't know. The, <laughs> Woo! Wow, the Page of Swords reversed, the Page of Cups reversed, and the Knight of Cups upright. And the Page of, of Wands. This is like, I feel like there's four children involved here. There's four children. And the mother is thinking about relocating, or the mother is thinking about getting in some sort of new relationship. It feels like this person may have an opportunity with somebody else. But because of the children, they can't take action. They're thinking about it, though. So it's like this person is thinking about this new opportunity. There is like an opportunity for love here that is unexpected, okay? And I feel like this person has an opportunity for a relationship. They're wanting romance. You know, they're wanting something more. They're wanting um, more passion and more love. And they have a new exciting opportunity with somebody that may be a little bit younger than them. Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, but because of the children, they're still holding, they're holding on to where they're at. They're staying where they're at. Maybe they're hoping something will change. I feel as though this person takes their motherhood very, very seriously, and that's why they're not um, making any moves. But I feel like this person's approach should be to follow their heart. It's like the universe is saying, follow your heart, Okay. This person over here, this is a false contract. It's not meant to be. This is letting go. This is releasing something that's not solid. It's not, there's, there's nothing, no, nothing stable here except for the home. It's like this person may be staying there just for the home. Maybe this person, this person wants this person to take care of them because this person is very uh, nurturing. This person is, has some sort of secrets. Okay. They do. They're very untrustworthy. Um, they may have had sex with somebody which invo in involved another child or got themselves, got, got themselves a child that is some sort of secret or something. And I feel as though, you know, around the corner, this is a loss. So I think this person is going to experience a loss. I think that this person is sensing that there is going to be a loss. I think this person is sensing they might know that this person has another opportunity they may sense that okay because this is very intuitive so this person may know that this person has another opportunity um at this time um This person is in no hurry to move they're in in no hurry to open up and close this chapter they're in no hurry because they're getting taken care of so well by this person. Okay, it could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with this. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is being taken care of at in the home base so well by this person that you know they're just they're fine with it. They're like you know what I'm just I just assume this is good for me. You know it's good even though there's no love here in these cards. There's no love here. And I think that this person has another opportunity for love and they're looking for love, but because of the children, they're not making any moves. 
So yeah, this person is just clinging. This person doesn't want this person to let go. Okay, they don't want this person to let go. Um, they may use the children as a tool to keep them stuck. Um, yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't want this person to make this change. They don't want them to let them go. Realizing there's another opportunity for love. This person knows that this person has another opportunity for love. Okay? This is knows. This person knows, okay, that this person has another opportunity for love. And I also feel like this person over here may be getting to realize that there's another opportunity for them for love. So this person may be ready, getting ready to release, getting ready to let go of this person because they just know that this is no longer meant to be. So it feels as though we, we have two people that are kind of in agreement here, even though they may not be communicating about it. It feels like this person knows that this probably is the end of a contract, that there's another opportunity for love for love here for both of them. I think there's another opportunity for both people here. Um... This person is, is in the process or getting ready to let go of a false contract that is not stable. It's not solid. You know, it's not. And it's because they have another opportunity for love. This person is getting ready to release. Definitely. This is release. This is release. And this is release. And they're beginning to realize that there's another opportunity for love. And the one that they're with is not meant to be. That is what this person is. Okay. And this person over here is thinking about relocating. This person has another opportunity, somebody that is well suited for them. And, but they're holding on for the children. And that's what I see. They're staying put for the children. But there is another opportunity to start over, to go down a new path, to broaden their horizons. But they'll have to do things differently and they'll have to stay focused and concentrate. And to start over, it takes, uh, backbone. So I think this person needs to find their backbone. You know, there's definitely four children here. One, two, three, four. There's four children here. So there, so there's, whether it's, you know, children from both sides or whatever, there's, there's children in the mix that are causing a relationship to stay together where, you know, I think there's another opportunity for love for both people. Okay, but somebody needs to find their moral backbone to do the right thing. And it feels like both of these people are staying for the stability of it. They're staying for the security of the situation and the, and the children, whatever that means. Um, so Aquarius, I feel like there is definitely for, for both people. I see it for both people. I think there's a, another opportunity here for both people. But, but. Well, let's let's go right here. Leaving behind the children. Somebody is really afraid about afraid of what the children will say. But it's time, destiny, destined change of course. It's time for this change in direction. This is a fated change of course. This is destiny. This is fate. It's time for a change. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This is a new chapter. One cycle is coming to an end. But free will plays a part. And this is a card of consequences. So we have somebody here that is, is needs to make a decision. And it's like this person's not going to make a decision. It's like they want to release, but they don't want to be held accountable. This I think this person is the one that needs to make the decision. There's a destined meetup here. You know, there's a destined change of course. But it's being missed. It's being missed. It's like God has this offer of love and somebody's not taking it. So over here, uh, Aquarius, I think that you have an opportunity with somebody uh, to have a brand new life. This is She gives birth to a brand new life, but... You think about that, Empress. She has to experience pain. She has to. It's just the way it goes. To get that blessing, to get that miracle, to get that new life, you have to deal with the pain. 
So we have somebody here that has to experience pain to get the golden opportunity, to get the, the romance that the universe is trying to give to them. So I feel like this person needs to spin that wheel. They need to take that step. <laughs> they need to let go of the emptiness. They need to stop trying to prove themselves to somebody, to the world, to their maybe even to their children. It's time to be happy again. You need to make that decision that your happiness matters. So anyway, this person right here, it, it, it's time to be happy again. It's time to let go of the emptiness. This person over here, is not going to move forward. They're not going to move forward. <laughs> because because they, they don't they don't have a lot of strength. They don't they don't they I don't even think they lack integrity. And there's no love. Okay, right here. There's love. There's love coming from God. There's love coming. There's like a new opportunity for love, but there's this, this one isn't meant to be. This is a new opportunity for love. I know it is because there's a loss here. This person. Is not willing to move forward. This person is not willing to move forward. They are staying put. They are staying put. Yeah, but they're not focused on a relationship. They're not focused on a relationship. They're not. It's not solid. It's not stable. It's not secure. This person, what is this Ace of Cups? Is this intimacy? Okay? I don't know what this is. This is a partnership. But this is not focused on a relationship, not focused on anything solid. Uh, is this person like in love with somebody else, but they're not moving forward? They're not willing to move. They're not willing to make any moves. Because it feels like this person is in love with somebody. But they're not willing to make any moves whatsoever. They're hiding their true feelings. They're hiding their truth. They're keeping secrets. I don't, you know, I, you know, I feel like this person has a lover. I feel like this person has a lover. I do. But they're not willing to move on because it's so stable, solid, and secure where they're at. There's fear of growing old alone. And that's why this person isn't making any moves. So Aquarius, I feel like we have enough information here. There's an opportunity for a new life. But this is the person that's going to have to take action. Because this person is very comfortable doing what they are doing. And that's what I got.